Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I've got a LEGO Collection minifigure review video for you. This is a Ninjago update video. In fact, we have every single LEGO Cole minifigure ever made. There are 39 Cole minifigs altogether. That's a lot more than the last time we did a complete Cole collection a couple years ago. And in terms of ninjas that are grounded to reality, I feel like his look is the most realistic out of any of the ninjas just because he is the black ninja after all. So anyways, we're gonna jump through this collection chronologically from what years they came out, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth today. The year 2011 is the first year these guys came out, and this is the very first Cole. He looks closer to a traditional ninja than any of the other guys, especially here because the printing is still very simple, kind of similar to the original 1998 ninja, and even uses the same cowl piece. He appeared in the Turbo Shredder as well as the Ninja Training Outpost set, and of course his own little poly bag. He's actually very common, and currently he sells for $5. That's $1 less than what he was a couple years ago. Now the second version of him I think looks pretty darn good. This is Cole DX, or the Dragon suit version of Cole. That's pretty self-explanatory. He's got a bit of the reflective gold printing that shows the Earth Dragon. Remember that is a rock shooting out of his mouth. He is the Earth Ninja. And this guy came out in the Earth Dragon defense set as well as the Battle Arena set and Cole DX. He's among the most expensive in the collection coming up to nine bucks. And then four new guys come out in the year 2012. But they used to be some of the most unique versions of the character that there are a lot that came out in the last couple years. Anyways, here is Cole ZX, he came out in the car poly bag and it's the first time the standard body print really changes for the character. Personally, I don't really consider it much of an improvement, but I do like the cowl piece. It has now been molded differently. It's got a bit of silver printing on the front, and this Cole sells for six bucks, while the much more common version of Cole came out with shoulder armor. He appeared in a ton of sets, including Cole's Tread Assault, Lasha's Bite Cycle, and Ultrasonic Raider. This is also a $6 version of Cole. And then we have the ever-coveted Kendo Armor version of him. Also a very common version of Cole. He appeared in the Fang Prime mech as well as the Wrecking Ball and also the Kendo Cole Polybag. This is a $5 fig. And now we are looking at NRG Cole, the most expensive version of any of the characters. He's $10, collectible brand new, and he appeared in the NRG Cole set. These prints are sometimes a hit or miss, I would say, when it comes to the color combination. They feel a little bit dated nowadays, but the black body and dark red print I think work pretty well for the character. I also just like the glowing eyes that come out of the cowl. Only one new version of Cole came out for 2013. That is the final battle Cole, or commonly known also as Kimono Cole. His robes are totally different from any other release we've seen him in. And generally speaking, I think all the ninjas are actually pretty good looking in this form but also quite similar to the rest of the ninjas that appeared at this time. He appeared in the Cole's Earth Driller set, sells for seven bucks, and then the year 2014 also just gave us one new Cole. This is Cole Rebooted. His appearance was in the Hover Hunter set as well as the Thunder Raider, and outside of that, honestly, I'd say this is probably my least favorite printing for the character in any of the years. He sells for four bucks, and then 2015 gave us a ton new versions of Cole. Let's just knock out the slightly altered versions of the rebooted armor. So here he is with the gold shoulder armor with the rebooted printing. He's got a cowl, different mold now for the cowl. This time, no silver printing on it, and he appeared in the Cole foil pack number one. He sells for four bucks, and then this Cole uh, appeared in the Lego Masters of Spinjitzu official guide. He's just got a face mask and hair this time instead of a cow. That is a $6 figure. And now for an actual new print. This is Deep Stone Armor Cole. The print is almost the same as just about all the other ninjas that came out at this time. And from what I can tell, most people consider this version of the Ninjago ninjas uh, a bit of a fan favorite. This guy appeared in a ton of sets. Blaster Bike, Master Wu Dragon, Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, as well as Temple of Air Jitsu. This makes him, of course, incredibly common and incredibly cheap. He is a $3 figure. And now we get our first look at Tournament Cole. He appeared in Lava Falls. The print here also matches that of what most of the other ninjas looked like at this time. And I'm just gonna say this again, but generally speaking, the print in black looks pretty good compared to the other colored ones. He's a $4 figure, and then uh, the same version of him appeared with a scabbard on his back. And his appearance was in the official Ninjago Annual 2016. 
technically it came out in Dutch in 2015, that's why he counts for this year. And here is Zukin Cole, known as Knee Pads version of the Ninja on Bricklink. All the Zukin Ninjas pretty much have the same print, and the brown detailing honestly contrasts well with the black. He still looks like he could be a ninja from an actual non-fantasy universe, which I do appreciate, and I also like that his cowl has a print on the head. He first appeared in the Boulder Blaster set, as well as the team pack for Ninjago that was uh, a Dimensions pack. He sells for $5, and here's the last one of 2015. This is the Erjutsu Cole. He came from the Erjutsu Cole flyer set, and personally, I think this is my second least favorite version of Cole. I just think those orange orange arms contrast way too much with the black body. The print just doesn't glow as much as the brightness of the plastic. Looks a little bit funny. He sells for $4 and then immediately after that, uh, first guy we're looking at for 2015 is basically just a better version of him. This is Cole RX. He appeared in the Rock Rotor set and here he's got printing on his arms and it's an amazing little effect. I love how they did that with the orange hands connecting into the trans black arms and you can kind of see somewhat fading flaming effect by his hands it just looks better and Cole here has a different cowl it's actually not the first time we saw this mold but the colors have an inverted effect uh, since the last time we saw it from the deep stone armor this guy sells for six bucks and never mind the deep stone armor we are now looking at stone armor Cole this is also I think a pretty big fan favorite amongst a lot of people he's technically rebooted here and he only appeared in the little stone armor Cole polybag or little box. He is basically the only fighting coal that has no reflective weird colors or any brown rope attached to him, so I just like that he's kind of simple, got armor, he looks good, he's an $8 figure, a little bit more collectible than a lot of the other guys. And then quickly again, this is Zukin Coal. he appeared in a foil pack, he's four bucks and what makes him different is that he's got hair and a face mask, also a scabbard. And now here is Skybound Cole. he's from the Cole's Dragon set, not a fan of any of the Skybound prints. I've said this, I think, in every collection, though I don't think it looks as bad on Cole. I think I like the gray arms contrasting well with the gray on the cowl piece. So I think he looks a little better than some of the other guys here, but generally speaking, not my bag. This is a $4 fig, and now we've got the ghost version of Skybound Cole. The sand green face kind of gives it away. The appearance of this version of him came on Tiger Widow Island. That's a $4 figure. And then this guy appearing with hair and no scabbard appeared on the green NRG Dragon set, also a $4 fig. And then finally finishing off the year with the dark gray wrap for Cole, or really this is him from Day of the Departed, and he's got a bit of detailing that's super similar to the first version of the character. I don't think it looks bad, but somehow I prefer the uh, original 2011 version of this guy better. His appearance was in the Ultra Stealth Raider set. He sells for five bucks. And now let's jump up to the year 2017. Ton of guys came out this year, including a slightly alternate version of this Cole coming out in a foil pack. He's got a different kind of scabbard slash shoulder armor. He's got hair instead of a cowl, and he sells for five bucks. There's also a different Zukin. Now he's got a different bit of uh, scabbard slash shoulder armor and his face doesn't have a little mask on the front and this Zukin Cole appeared in one of those annual official Lego books from 2017 though a little early in Dutch so it's a 2016 fig and he sells for five bucks now we've hit hands of time this came out right in the beginning of 2017 our first version of Cole appeared in Destiny's Shadow as well as a foil pack and generally speaking I like how they lightened up a lot of the colors for these ninjas so now Cole is a gray ninja with a lot of black detailing and personally just I think a little bit too much printing that shows a lot of rope on him for some reason. This is a $5 version of Cole. Then without the cowl or a scabbard, he appeared in the Stealthy Swamp Airboat Polybag, and he's a little cheaper coming out to three bucks. Also, it's worth noting that this is the first time we get any toe printing for this ninja. Now, here's what really kind of changed the game or shook things up. We get Cole from the Lego Ninjago movie. The character's been very much redesigned. He looks super similar to that of what a tournament-style ninja looked like, though I think the detailing is a little bit more clean-cut 
cut this time around. This version of him came from Destiny's Bounty as well as the Quake Mech set. The cowl is totally different. Generally, I think the look of the cowl is good, though the construction and kind of looseness of the cowl fit is bad. I like the little printing that he's got on the arms there. This is a $3 figure. And then also this call came out in the Manta Ray Bomber set. He has no printing on his arms. That's the thing that makes him different. And then here is a totally new, completely unique hairpiece designed for Cole without the cowl. He appeared in the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate weapon also a three dollar figure all in all a pretty good standard looking version of the character from the movie and then we get Cole in his uh, training outfit same print pretty much for all the ninjas and you can only find this Cole in the book that was titled the Lego Ninjago movie Garmadon in Ninjago City that's also a three dollar Cole and then he appeared also in the collectible minifigure series for this movie he was number eight in the collection and this is him in just kind of his casual clothes you can see he's a rocker or into rock music and generally speaking I think he's got a pretty good print. He's got the world tour on the back print which I think looks the best from 1985. That is a $4 version of the figure and it also cinches things off for the year 2017. When we jump up to the last year 2018 till current here is the first Sons of Garmadon Cole. The cowl has a slightly different print for the symbol on the forehead. It's in a different color. It's also a little smaller I think and like so many of the ninjas they kind of have this very lightly detailed speckled pattern that kind of underlies a lot of the detailing generally speaking that looks pretty good though I can't say I'm a big fan in general of what the Sons of Garmadon print looks like he appeared in the Temple of Resurrection set this is a four dollar figure then we get a slightly different version of him in a foil pack this time with no printing on the forehead and also no scabbard that's a three dollar call and the last version of this guy to come from the Sons of Garmadon line is the Spinjitzu Masters call so these guys always look a bit different it's really kind of odd with the dirt and vine detailing being an orange on the chest it just looks funny and sometimes the spinjitsu ninjas actually look really cool though this version of the guy not so much in my opinion that is a six dollar fig and now we move on to the hunted version of him he's actually got the same print as the last one just about the only difference really being that he's got a bit of a tear on his clothes and also they decided to put toe printing back on him this version of him with the gold symbol on his forehead is from the firstborn set he's 650 roughly if you wanted to get him brand new on bricklink and this version of him with the orange symbol on his head believe it yeah that's just the only difference uh, he came from the dragon pit set and uh, is selling for five dollars roughly yep pretty basic and then here we actually get a cool version of Cole from the hunted and actually this is uh, him from the Dragon Master set he's an awesome kind of tactical gear finally he's got a sort of practical color put onto his bot onto his arms I should say I kind of like that in the dark brown and honestly he's probably my favorite Cole from any of the last couple of years currently I don't know what his price is it's not really listed on Bricklink right now so I'm gonna guess it's probably around five or six bucks and now let's finish off the last couple of figs this is Cole from the kendo training pod it's basically like the training suit print that we got before it's actually a little different but it's done in black this time there's other ninjas that have the same version of this print and then here is another sort of casual look at Cole still with a music or rocker based look for the torso and honestly still pretty decent print for the pockets on his pants this is Cole from the Ninjago City docks set which was a great addition to the Lego Ninjago City set this is a $5 figure and guess what we just knocked out all 39 different <laughs> versions of Cole there's a few more Ninjago sets that are going to be coming out at the end of this month currently none of them are available in the states but I assure you we're going to be adding on to our ninja collections just like we have been before anyways guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoy our content you can always like or subscribe of course let me know what kind of collections you want to see us do in the future thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at brick vault Hey everybody, wanted to pop in really quick, let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that create these amazing Lego builds. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, that's www.brickvault.toys, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.